Zero Soft, Zero Medium, Retro, Opto, and Opto Ice Orbit. Which one's gonna be the best pier? Stay tuned. Mando fam, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at these five plastics from Latitude 64. We have the Zero Soft, Zero Medium, Retro, or Opto and Opto Ice Orbit. Really, really fun. I can't wait to see what is going to happen when I throw all of these um, and which one feels the best. But I wanna give you guys a little bit of a review on how they feel. That way, if you guys wanna pick up a pier, you know exactly what you're getting if you aren't able to you know, go to a local shop and pick one up there. So let me tell you how each one feels and then we'll get into playing the holes. So the Zero Soft and Zero Medium is that grippy putter plastic. It has that really super nice grip in your hands and you're gonna have that ultimate touch in your short game whenever it comes to the zero hard though you might not have as much touch just because the putter itself is a little bit harder of plastic so that is a zero soft zero medium and zero hard if we move on to the retro now you're gonna feel a very nice grip and it has beginner friendly flights and it breaks in faster whenever you hit trees or band or hopefully chains at some point it's just gonna break in faster and be that much more understable over time now the opto is this comes from latitude 64's website made from the world's most durable plastics and it is developed to withstand severe punishment and conditions in other words it's gonna take a while to beat in now the opto ice orbit is newer from my understanding and it is more stiff than the opto and it claims to be more overstable now latitude 64 didn't send me the opto air which is their lighter weight plastic their gold plastic and also the zero hard so i'm not reviewing every single plastic but i'm reviewing five of the eight so cut me some slack Right, let's start with the zero soft we're going to start here on hole three with a backhand turnover the zero medium now get down oh how did it fight through i will never know um that's unfortunate. If that fights through, and it does, go in. Keep turning, keep turning. Bonk. I got a putt there. So, a couple good throws on that first hole. Zero soft, zero medium, got the birdies, everything else got a par. So, let's see if we can follow that up. Dude, I love how that flies. I'd love it even more if it flew into the basket. I bombed that, whoops. <laughs> Retro is your more beginner flight, so hopefully it flips up and turns over on me. And if it comes back, that thing's perfect. I like how the Retro feels. There's your Opto. So the one that I throw the most and the one that I putt with was the worst shot. <laughs> if this isn't a collection of what you want from your throwing putters, I don't know what you want in a throwing putter. Don't mind that one. So we're just gonna go backhand turnover, see if we can get it. Mmm, I missed my line. Oh, I threw it on too much hyzer. It went too straight. Retro, this thing should be perfect for a backhand turnover. Absolutely. But when you throw it on the ground, it doesn't matter what it does. <laughs> I'm gonna test the Opto Ice Orbit on a little bit more of a hyzer backhand. The wind has switched to a tailwind now too, so got that going for me. Hole six is a nice little uphill ace run challenge. Got a small little left to right, and what we're doing is we're gonna go closest to the pin. The furthest one away from the pin is eliminated. Hole nine, we're gonna have a winner of what plastic is the best pier? Oh, get up! Go. 
Go in. <sighs> oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh. Saved by the stairs. All three of these are parked and I hate to do this because the Opto Ice Orbit was absolutely the worst throw, but the Retro is eliminated. Okay, so the Retro is out on that last hole. Hole seven, eight, and nine are in the woods and they're just blind shots, so it doesn't really show how good the pure is. So we have a 210 foot hole number two. Let's see what we can do. I was so nose up, but it could just be good enough. I don't know where the tree line comes into play. <laughs> if that's as overstable as they claim, that's gonna be really good. So we're down to three discs now, the zero soft and the zero medium, and then also the orbit. I'm just gonna say this right now, the best throwing putter, plastic wise, is this Opto. It feels really good. It feels almost like a star plastic from Innova and it just feels like a mid-range coming out of the hand and that's what you kind of want in a throwing putter you don't want it to be too bulky very awkward feeling like it feels really really good the zero medium and the zero soft however I can get more touch on them so hole four we're back 195 feet I threw all three of these close last time so see which one I can do again consistency is the hardest thing for us amateurs right that wind is taking it isn't it I expected the wind to flip it up. It did not. I'll be the judge. This is the zero medium. That's the opto. That's the basket. In my opinion, they were both trash throws, but I think the opto's got it. What's really funny is the fact that when I was throwing them just for fun and I wasn't competing disc against disc, I was throwing them really, really good, but now that I'm actually comparing each disc to each disc, I'm throwing really bad shots. So first off, I apologize, but second off, I'm an amateur. Consistency's hard. Final hole here, zero soft versus opto. Now what we have here is, again, that backhand turnover if you want it, or the backhand hyzer. I might actually go backhand hyzer with the opto, backhand turnover with the zero soft, play each disc plastic to their advantage. May the best disc win. Hold it, baby. I don't think you saw any of that flight, if I'm being completely honest. <laughs> it got through and I bombed it. Oh my gosh. Clearly, I lied. I thought the Opto was under the basket. It is not. I would say they're about the same distance. So let's go for a little putt off. There you have it. The Opto plastic from Latitude 64 is the best pure plastic. Is that 100% accurate? Probably not, but it was a fun video.